Hey Aquarius, welcome to your November 2024 monthly reading. I hope you're doing well. We're just going to go ahead and begin and jump straight in here. I don't have the overhead cam. It stopped working, so I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do about that next. But I do like not having it right now. It does feel nice because I don't have to like go back and forth with the camera. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump in here. I do want to say if you would like to book a personal reading with me that link will be down below in the description if you click that link it will take you straight to my website and then from there uh, you can purchase a reading it's interesting you did pull the eight of cups here for your overall energy this month cap or capricorn sorry aquarius some of you may have capricorn in your chart but nonetheless it does kind of connect to the capricorn energy in general because your ruling planet saturn right now is in pisces and that's the eight of cups and it is retrograde it's stopped not moving but it's about to become direct on the 15th with the full moon that we're having and i think this is really going to allow you to gain a deeper sense of awareness about your own spiritual destiny and your own spiritual vision quest in life, especially if you've been feeling confused or just kind of feel like you've been going in circles, frustrated, lack of progress with things, lack of movement with things, feeling stuck, things feeling heavy. You know, Saturn is a planet that does rule pessimism, right? But not pessimism in the way in which, you know, it's like, I mean, it can be, right? But it's more so like negativity and pessimism. Like sometimes we have to be negative about certain things in order for us to, to be realistic sometimes. Um, you get what I'm saying? So it can feel very heavy, right? It can feel like, oh, my God, like, you know, you can be finding yourself in a very pessimistic energy, angry energy, or just feeling like, nothing positively is expanding the way you have been wanting it to maybe it's just been stuck or plateaued too but i do see here some things changing and also and also too if you just have been feeling ungrounded or just unsettled like this unsettling feeling i think your ruling planet coming direct this month aquarius because one of your ruling planets is Aqu or is saturn right traditionally and it still is uh, also, I mean, obviously your other planets, Uranus too, but Saturn's a big deal for you. You did pull Pluto, and then Pluto's coming into your sign. I forgot. Pluto rebirth. So here it is. A whole Pluto coming in for, for good in your sign, really transforming your identity and your sense of self and finding more out about who you are with Pluto being an Aquarius and being able to define things in a newer way. This is a big month here for you, Aquarius. We haven't even gotten into the read. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, closing out this chapter here, I'm seeing. You pull this flexibility card, so I feel spirits want you to be as flexible as you can. You know, Knight of Pentacles in the challenge could be to where we're being too rigid or we're not allowing for any flexibility to come in. We're not allowing ourselves to be creative or we're not just allowing for change to happen. Some of you may have like a Taurus placement. So you, uh, you may have a Taurus placement, like a Taurus moon, or you could have just like, there's something about Taurus. I and mean, we're about to have the full moon in Taurus with your ruling planet coming direct, right? So that could also be the energy here. But I think it's important to be as flexible as you can and to surround yourself with flexible energy. Five of Wands and your current energy could be this clash with others here at this time, causing conflict, strife, or struggle, tension, because maybe they're inflexible, right? But it could also be you too. Maybe it's both. So maybe it's about finding that middle ground here and being open to being flexible. Let's see. You pulled this Moon Maiden card, it says New Beginnings here. So you definitely do have new beginnings here. And speaking of new beginnings, and, and, and it's been difficult. I, I, I almost since this past chapter, these things here that you're trying to begin, while also at the same time letting go of old things, with Pluto being here and like starting to you know refocalize something new or refocalize things in a new way. I think here with this Moon Maiden card, there's a five on it. And five is what breaks up the stagnancy of the four, the structures of the four. The number four so it can be this stressful change that's trying to happen or rebirth that's trying to happen or a new birth that's trying to happen here in your life but it's been it's been rough or it's been a struggle i want to say 
and that's that world card here in the position of the good stuff finally being able to close out here past chapters past situations and the world card is also saturn so here it is like the good stuff here is your fucking saturn going direct here for you i think it's going to allow for you to really integrate everything that you've been going through with your, with saturn being retrograde you have the four of pentacles here also in the position of the good stuff here i think you're finding your grounding here and i also think too you could be accomplishing something or receiving something here or getting something here for yourself that gives you power and influence over your situation because ultimately here i feel like that's what you're trying to create is power and influence not in a negative way it's like you're trying to find and tap into your own reservoir of power here of pluto to be able to have more influence over your external life or external situations in life so you have the five of wands here and for your current energy at this time and it's also with the eight of, eight of cups as the overall energy so it's been struggle it's been a struggle five of wands actually encourages you to fight for what it is that you want it's a card of competition not fearing competition right asserting your will it's a leo card it's saturn and leo and it's saturn and leo on the north node so it's all about having courage being your own confident authority and exercising that and you know expressing yourself you pulled the Knight of Cups here in your, or sorry, Knight of Pentacles here in your challenge with the Two of Pentacles as your advice here. Yeah, I feel the Spirit's really wanting you to be open to change as much as you can. Knight of Pentacles, if things aren't moving as fast as you would like, or if they're stagnant, or if they're stuck, or if you're just finding yourself in an energy here to where you're trying to cultivate stability, you're trying to grow your prosperity, the advice is, the Two of Pentacles, is to be, to, to be open to different ways of doing things. Like, embracing change as much as you can here that i do feel like though it's been difficult i can see it and i gotta be real aquarius you have the five of pentacles here in the position of something you're unaware of that you need to be aware of five of pentacles can be to where we can slip into like the victim mindset or the woe is me mindset. And I feel spirits just really wanting you to be aware of that and not slip into that. Because the five of wands can put you in that energy. It's like you're being tested. Your will's being tested, right? You're having to assert your will and be confident and, and, and exercise your authority. But it could almost feel like, ugh, like, you know, it can feel tiring at times. And then you can kind of want to give up. But I feel spirits saying here not to give up. I think it's a lot, it gets a lot better for you here this month with the four of swords being in the future. You find more peace and stability and more harmony here. And things start to feel more fair or start to feel uh, more fair here. Like you're getting, you know, the work and the effort that you're putting into things to make deeper transformations. It's actually starting to happen. You pull the eight of pentacles here in the outcome, which is a card of perfection and mastery. So I do feel whatever it is that you're working on, whatever changes here that you're making, you're defining things more clearly and you're mastering whatever it is, whatever the change is here that you're trying to make, which is allowing for progress to happen. Hmm. I mean, this is a good read. It's not a bad one. It's not a bad read. And it's interesting, you know, the Eight of Cups, the moon that's on here, it's, it's a waxing moon. And I always see it as... It's... it's I don't think it's the quarter moon, but I, I think it's the in between the new moon and the quarter moon. So we start to gain some awareness, not the full awareness, but we know we have to move into something new. We have to begin our journey. Clarify the four pentacles in the position of the good stuff. You pulled this fire card. It says expansion here. I also see you being more motivated here as well more disciplined, more strict, but in a good way. Four Pentacles as well, Sun and Capricorn. Capricorn is your ability to really be, is to stay uh, disciplined and structured when it comes to achieving your goals, right? And sometimes it takes tenacity and having to be really critical about those things. But I see being able to tap into that fire 
clarify the eight of cups here for the overall energy you pull this chaining card it says attachment here i think this is the month where you're finally letting go of old values here i mean that's going to be the full moon in taurus right it's the releasing of older outdated values especially on top of uranus your ruling planet there we go there's uranus coming into the reading it's your ruling planet so this is a disruption when it comes to your values it could be money resources and all that stuff but i think it's anything that really is just like that it's just outdated and you can't really rely on it anymore because it doesn't support you the way you want it to clarify the world card here in the position of the good stuff you pulled this flower bouquet it says potential but it's interesting too because i almost see though because the full moons can be the the harvest so you could be you know with this new moon in scorpio that we just had you could have planted a seed to have this deeper transformation and you've been working very hard five of wands you've been tapping into your inner reserves and using your life force energy here to transform things and create things and this full moon could be your harvest here with the world card in this flower bouquet potential and the position of the good stuff. The harvest of abundance here, prosperity, that has somehow shockingly all come together. But it's interesting though, it's almost as if it could manifest in the material world. But it's also like this, uh, there's a newer understanding internally here of what you value and what you're trying to create. Clarify the five of wands in your current energy. You pulled this mountain card, it says goals here. So y'all just think, I be saying shit. So yeah, it's like you're exercising your authority here to go after your goals. And you're allowing for your own individual self-expression to really come through here, your create, your creativity. This is like a muscle I feel here that you're you're exercising. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in your challenge. You pull the Sphinx card. It says Ancient Wisdom here. Anything new that you learn here, you know, the Two of Pentacles is is, is integrating that, not allowing your 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 values or your sense of self to be too rigid to newer things. Clarify the Four Swords in the future position. You pulled this lily card it says innocence so this is the restoring of of things here healing that's also happening i see here for you as well but just you really getting back into that pure place i feel aquarius to where if, if you just have been feeling like i can't i don't know i can't figure it out like it just feels like my inner world is so unstable or whatever i think this is you with the four swords being able to find that stability here and harmony here with this Lily Innocence card. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the outcome. What is this? You pulled this Lobster card. It says Inner Growth here. So everything that you're working on at this time, what it is that you're perfecting, what it is that you're developing, refining, improving. I also see you coming up with newer uh, habits or instilling newer habits breaking old habits here, which is allowing for you to be majorly productive and helping you get a lot done here. Clarify the two of pentacles as your advice. You pull this key card, it says reveal. So whatever new information gets revealed to you, it's about taking it as it comes and incorporating it and integrating it and not closing your mind off here to other possibilities of different ways you can do things that are better. Clarify the five of pentacles in the position of something you're unaware of. You pull this hand reciprocity card. And yeah, and like the five of pentacles is a story about it, how these people, you know, are refusing help, right? Because they're in the well with me. Or they're not reaching out for the help. I think if you were to reach out for the help or or to exercise your authority and like go for what it is that you want, it's like the universe will meet you halfway and grab your hand. You pull the solar calm card it says clarify here so right now if you're struggling and you're kind of frustrated irritable five of wands with this mountain goals card if you're frustrated irritable or if you're just like i don't know what the fuck to do take a moment right five of wands is don't let the anger build to the point to where it sabotages you 
not even gonna lie. Before recording, I was like, you know, I really don't want to do readings. <laughs> like, I really don't. And there's a lot of reasons why, right? But uh, astrologically, I'm like, well, obviously, like the moon's in Capricorn. But it's like, I knew, like, if I don't do anything, I'm gonna be upset. Or if I don't take the time out to, you know, whatever, then I'm gonna be, you know, it's just gonna make it worse. And so I feel for you, there's almost like no way around something here, Aquarius. It's like you you have to do it. But when you do it, that's when like you feel better. But I'm back to what I was saying. If you're in an energy here, or you're just frustrated, or you don't know what how to go about things, the Solar Calm card clarifies like clarify what your goals are what do you really want for yourself what mountain do you actually want to climb five of wands and if you're, if you're going to exert your will at all and it's going to be challenging at anyways what mountain do you actually want to climb you pulled the solitude card and that's yeah it's like take some time out for yourself if you need it here to you know do some reflection or go deep within have some introspection to really connect with your inner world and see what what really wants to be expressed here You pulled this heart home compassion here so there's some again it's like you're coming home to yourself but there's also like you finding that sense of stability here and the compassion with the lily innocence card in the future with the four swords could be a deeper sense of healing integration with that world card and also too there could be you know you um starting to find your comfort like you're starting to find like things are starting to become more comfortable for you especially if they haven't been so so that's what i got for you aquarius in your reading i'm gonna leave your reading here if you would like to book a personal reading with me that link will be down below again in the description if you're new to the channel i encourage you to subscribe and also hit the notification button bell too, so that way you get notified whenever I upload your videos. And if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. Otherwise than that, I'm wishing you the best, and I'll see you later.